as you know, there are always sales going on across the beauty space all over the place all the time. But the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale is special and it's one that a lot of people look forward to because a lot of times they have, you know, really popular products or products that are very hyped up for 50% off. So, if these are products that you always stock up on or things that you've heard about and want to try, this is a great time to try them. And I was sitting there and I'm looking at all of the different sales for the different days. Every single day there's new sales and I'm looking at it and I'm like there's definitely for me a standout product on every day that I think is going to be the one that people are most interested in. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to really deep dive into that one product and I'm going to tell you whether I genuinely think it is going to be worth your money or not. So if you are interested in that I've got a lot to tell you. Hang tight. We are jumping into it right now. If you've been around for a while, you know I've been doing Ulta 21 Days of Beauty videos forever, and I used to go deep dive into every single product, and it was a lot of work, but a lot of people found a lot of value in it. And I'm going to be 100% with you, I just don't have the physical hours in the day between my kids being in sports, from having my company Mad Marshmallows, like I just don't, I, I can't, I just physically can't do it anymore. So hopefully, I picked the product to deep dive into that you're interested in, but I also want to, as we go over each day's sales, I'm going to give you kind of an overview of some of the other products that I didn't choose and kind of like, you know, a little, just tell you a little bit about a couple things. So hopefully I, even if I didn't get a hundred percent accuracy on my deep dive with you, as far as what you wanted to hear about, maybe I'll mention a little bit about another product you were curious about. And with that being said, I've rambled enough. Let's go into March 17th, which is today. <laughs> First, I see that Dermalogica is on sale the entire brand for 50% off. That brand has a fantastic rep reputation. I know a lot of people really love the products they've tried from that brand, the products I've tried from that brand, I've enjoyed. So this is a great time to try Dermalogica if you were looking into it. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gels, they, at least the clear one, I've never tried the tinted ones. The clear ones are, for me, it was very crunchy and it smelled like alcohol. I did not like the clear ABH brow gel at all. But let's deep dive into this Clarins Double Serum Firming Smoothing Concentrate. So it's $90 and it's on sale for $45. They say that it is a two-in-one formula packed with 21 plant extracts to effectively target wrinkles and boost radiance. Now I have heard wonderful things about this product from the community. A lot of people are really excited when they see this for 21 Days of Beauty. I think that this has been in 21 Days of Beauty before if I remember correctly. Before I talk about ingredients if you are new to the channel just so you know I am not a professional in ingredients at all I've just been doing this a long time I love reading research studies and talking to professionals in my life and uh, looking at professional sources to learn about ingredients so that's where I'm coming from as far as my knowledge here now I looked at the ingredient list and it does look like I'm looking at it here it does look like a nice hydrating product um, there's some good humectants paired with water in the base of course uh, pretty high up on the ingredient list is an ingredient called, uh, I'm going to put it on the screen, I'm not going to butcher it. That's the code name for it, but the, the actual ingredient is wild teasel extract. And really what this is used for is an anti-inflammatory ingredient in skincare. Uh, there's also some other good stuff below the 1% mark. We've got things like squalane, oat kernel extract, that's a skin soothing ingredient. Then we have milk thistle oil, which is another anti-inflammatory. Avocado oil, which is a great anti antioxidant. It's also skin soothing. And when I say antioxidant, uh, antioxidants are used in skincare to fight free radical damage in the skin, which is wonderful. One other ingredient I wanted to mention is just the turmeric root. Uh, that's skin soothing, skin brightening, stuff like that. So verdict on this one, honestly, like I think this is going to be right for the right person. If you are looking for a hydrating, anti-inflammatory kind of product, this may be something you want to look into. As far as targeting wrinkles, I don't don't see this as being a powerhouse for targeting wrinkles specifically. There's other products that you may want to look into more for that. Boosting radiance, maybe. Again, other 
different products focus on that, where I feel like the ingredient deck here is really that skin soothing, anti-inflammatory kind of powerhouse. I mean, you may see some temporary plumping due to the humectants in there, because when the water gets pulled into your skin, it kind of can plump up some fine lines a little bit. But as far as like, this isn't going to be a retinol for you, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully that helps you make a better decision on this and whether it's right for you or not. Moving on to March 18th, uh, I have tried the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus Gel and Hydrating Jelly Stuff. It was nice. I enjoyed it. It felt good on the skin. I felt like it was an effective product. Uh, benefit, the box blushes. I've used those for years. If you were interested in those, that may be something you want to look into. Some of them are more pigmented than others. Lasting power is pretty good on my skin. I've heard that they work better mostly for lighter skin tones rather than deeper skin tones. The new Face. So I did a review of the new face a very long time ago, and I did not use it for an extremely long time because I realized after using it that it really wasn't targeted at somebody like me. The advertisement said that it could target fine lines and wrinkles in the forehead area, so that was really what I got it for. But really, the new face is going to be best for people that have sagging skin that you want to tone. Uh, the results of it are temporary if you do see results they're not going to last beyond using it. You have to continue to use it. But I have heard people that are looking to tone have really good results from it. But for me, trying to get rid of wrinkles, especially on my forehead, was not, it was not successful for me. Let's talk about the beauty blender for a second. <laughs> Why is Jen diving into a beauty blender? I have a point. Trust me, I'm getting to it. So it's $20, of course, on sale for $10. I kind of feel bad for a beauty blender because they came up with this amazing makeup tool. It is really fabulous. Before this, all regular makeup users could get as far as something like this was those triangle makeup wedges that are kind of hard and they don't really form to the face. And I personally never really liked using those, maybe because I'm not a professional. So when these came out, people lost their minds over the beauty blender. You can do so much with them. You can pat out foundation. You can pat out concealer. You can bake with them. You can do so many things with the beauty blender. But the problem is, is that everybody duped the beauty blender for much, much cheaper. And they ended up making a product that was just as good as a beauty blender if not better. And, you know, like, for example, the Ulta brand one, I haven't bought it in a couple of years, I'm going to be honest with you. But when I did buy it, they were fabulous. The Ulta Beauty Blenders, those are $4.99 each. Real Techniques also has a great one. Those are $6.69. And then Shop Miss A, if you do go over there, uh, before I was really in tune with, you know, how those factories tend to operate in China, I have no evidence that there's any problems with the Shop Miss A factory in China. But it just, you know, not knowing does doesn't mean that things aren't happening there and the price point over there is so ridiculously low that I worry about the workers that work there. So I don't think I'm going to buy from Shop Miss A anymore. But when I did a full review of some products that I purchased from there, the beauty blenders that they make over there are still stellar and they are extremely, extremely inexpensive. So even though the beauty blender itself is fantastic, I do think you can get dupes for the beauty blender for less than $10. <laughs> that are just as good, if not better. So if you really want to try a beauty blender, I mean, go for it. But I don't feel like you really need that. March 19th, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Fantastic, classic brow pencil. Uh, it's very, very micro fine. So if you like to draw little teeny tiny brown hairs, that's a really great one. The It Brushes for Ulta are also very nice if you like those shapes and you don't have those in your life and you want to try those out. But let's talk a little bit about the Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation from Estee Lauder. It is $48 on sale for $24. And I did own this at one point. It is incredibly full coverage. It is very full coverage. It has a fantastic lasting power. There is a reason why this foundation is legendary. It has been around for so long and loved by so many people, but you have to know what you're getting into when you get into Estee Lauder Double Wear. Yes, you can shear it out a little bit, like using a beauty sponge like the Beauty Blender can help you shear it out just a tiny bit. Of course, just using less product can help you shear it out. You can put a moisturizer in it to help shear it out. There's lots of ways to work with it to make it less coverage but if you get it and you put it directly on your face just know 
<laughs> it's it's very intense. I also love that there's such a huge shade range here at 55 shades. It's freaking fantastic. I did take a look at the ingredients of this and it is mostly water and silicones. And because of that, you really just wanna make sure you put this onto the best canvas possible. I mean, I know that that's true for any foundation, but specifically for this one, because of the full coverage and because of the ingredient deck, no matter what skin type you have, whatever you need to do, whether it's moisturizing, hydrating, blotting, you know, whatever, whatever primer you use, just make sure you do that before you use this foundation in particular. On March 19th, they also have some app only beauty steals. Um, kind of looking at these and the only thing I know about are like the teamy vitamin C. I got that for a sponsored video. I actually really like that product. You do want to make sure you put that in a drawer away from light because it will uh, start turning brown if it ends up getting too much light exposure. It doesn't get air exposure, but it does because um, you want to keep it in a drawer. That's all I'm saying. Keep it in a drawer. And then Paracone MD products are freaking phenomenal. I've bought Paracone MD products specifically during the sale because they are so expensive and really enjoy them, especially the ones that are retinol based. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. And that's kind of the only ones that I really know about on the app steals. I didn't really focus on those for this video because it's just too much. It's too much. <laughs> So let's move on to March 20th. Honestly, I don't know anything about any of this stuff except for the Smashbox primers. Let's talk about the original Smashbox primer. $42 on sale for 21. This is a staple primer in a lot of people's makeup routine for a reason. If you have oily skin, I want you to particularly pay attention to this product. So it is a mix of silicones that's gonna help with the pore filling, but it also has silica in it. And silica and silicones are different. Silica, you know, like the little silica packs, their job is to absorb things. So so in skincare, it helps to absorb oil. So that's going to help your makeup to not be as oily throughout the day. There's also really good skincare in here like green tea extract and grapeseed extract. Those of course are great antioxidants. There's safflower seed extract that's gonna help with transepidermal water loss. The silicones will also help with that. And when I've used this, it did help my makeup last longer, even with my normal skin. So if you're looking for just a good, solid, tried and true primer, this may be one you wanna look at, but especially if you have oily skin. On March 21st, we have the Beekman 1802 Milk Drops Ceramide Serum. I purchased this at one point, really, really enjoyed it. Definitely made my skin feel hydrated. Uh, it's a nice product, it really is. The Gen New Powder Blushes are very, very nice. The deep dive I'm gonna do for this day is the Indie Lee COQ10 Toner. $36, $18 on sale. They say it is a hydrating tony, toning mist, not tony mist, toning mist that balances and refreshes your skin, alcohol-free and formulated with antioxidant powerhouse COQ10, aloe vera and cucumber. It's a non-drying spritzer. It primes and softens the skin exposed to environmental stressors. So I got this in a Beautylish Lucky Bag many, many years ago, and I freaking loved it. I didn't know a lot about skincare back then, but I loved it. It's a water-like consistency. I used to put it on a toning pad. Now I think it looks like it's in a spray version, but it, just putting it on the skin, it feels cooling but not in like a creepy minty way like in like a nice comfortable skin soothing happy way and now that i know more about ingredients i have become such a big fan of coq10 just in general and how good it is for the skin especially as we get older the big piece for me is the skin health piece which is the antioxidant that is coq10 so what we're doing is we're fighting free radical damage from the sun from pollutants all of that and just helps improve skin health overall. Beyond that, it can also help improve skin radiance and just make the skin just look nicer in general. Is it the biggest anti-aging powerhouse out there? I don't think so, but it does make the skin just look prettier overall, in general, in my opinion. So this is a definite win and I'm probably going to purchase this because I haven't used it in a long time and I really loved using it when I did. I'm looking at March 22nd and I'm like, I have not tried any of these things. I don't know anything about any of this stuff, <laughs> except for one thing. I know about one thing. Let me see, is there anything else I know about? No, 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 no. 
Nope, the only thing I know about is the Oma Beauty Badass Icon Matte Lipstick. So let's talk a little bit about that. It's $24 on sale for 12. And these are just really good, solid matte lipsticks. They remind me a lot of the Pat McGrath Matte Trance Formula in that they do dry down matte, but they aren't uncomfortable. Like they're not the most comfortable lipstick ever, but when you're going for a matte lipstick, you just kind of don't expect it to be like super cushy. It's not super cushy, but it feels good on the lips. It doesn't make my lips feel dry. The colors that I've tried are absolutely beautiful. It's just a nice lipstick. And I think at the $12 price point, these are an absolute yes for anybody trying to uh, get that matte look on their lips without feeling like, oh my gosh, my lips are just so dry. Looking at March 23rd, I don't see a lot of exciting things happening over here. Uh, I do feel like, though, that the standout product is going to be the Lancome Regenery Multi-Action Lift and Firm Anti-Aging Night Cream Moisturizer. I have heard people talk about that product. So let's deep dive into that. $160 retail. We're going to be bumping down to $80 for that product. They say that it is a rich anti-aging skin product for a refined and youthful appearance. Fine lines and wrinkles appear visibly reduced skin looks firmer and smoother. Lancome's formula, which includes shea butter and hyaluronic acid, works to support skin overnight. And this is what kills me about Lancome skincare, is that they use traditionally very tried and true ingredients that work well. But the thing is, is why is it $80? <laughs> that I do not understand. So I'm looking here, like there's a nice hydrating base. We've got humectants, we've got water. We're great there. We've got shea butter for moisturizing. These are fantastic ingredients. There's petrolatum for a Occlusive effects uh, to lock in all of the hydration. We have apricot kernel oil, wonderful ingredient, great antioxidant in there. Uh, it can also help strengthen the skin's barrier. These are great ingredient, but beyond that, there is nothing. Like to me, I'm looking at this, this is a $20 skincare product. At most for me, full price for this, $30. Like, I, I don't understand why it's $160. You can get really good solid skincare, like from like Derma E, that has way more bells and whistles, so much more bang for your buck than this. And I feel like Lancome, <laughs> like they rely on their name to sell to people who trust their skincare line. People that don't realize that there is skincare that's just as good, if, if not better, at a much lower price point. I think $160 is outrageous. I think $80 is outrageous. But... It's a good product. Like you're probably gonna see what it says here as far as the shea butter and the hyaluronic acid, like the effects of those things. But I see nothing here that looks anti-aging except for your skin being more plump because your skin's more hydrated, but nothing like retinol or even like a vitamin C kind of situation. Like there's nothing, like this is, this is a ripoff, honestly. <laughs> In my opinion, it's way, way overpriced. Moving over to March 24th, not a lot exciting here either. Do you feel like the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty this time just isn't as exciting as it typically is? I don't know. Maybe I'm just, because I've been doing this so long, maybe I don't find it, the products they've chosen to be as exciting. But let's talk about it anyway. <laughs> We have the Clinique Happy. I love that perfume. It's very floral and, and sweet and pretty. I really like that perfume. Crepe Erase, their products have really nice ingredient deck. I know it was started as like a as seen on TV thing, so a lot of people don't give it credit, but those products typically are pretty good. But the product I want to talk about today that I think is going to be the standout that people are going to want to try is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now, I haven't tried the brown one, the chocolate one, but I have tried many times the regular one. And Kind of the way I feel about it is if you're going to try this, this is the time to try it because it is a $28 retail price. Getting this for $14, if you don't have a problem with mascara smudging specifically... <laughs> <laughs> this may be the time to get it at $14. I don't feel like this mascara is worth $28, at least to me. It's a good mascara for me. It gives me some nice length, some nice volume. Not fantastic, but good. It's good. But the big complaint I hear from so many of you is a serious, serious clumping and smudging problem. If you really wiggle, you can get those clumps out, but it does take a little bit of work. But the smudging, I feel like, is a no-go for a lot of people. Now, I don't have smudging issues on my eyes. I think it's because my eyes aren't particularly watery. I have drier eyes. I also don't have oily eyelids. So I haven't had that problem, but I know that is a huge problem from a lot of people. So I did want to mention that to you as far as this particular product. Mm -hmm. 
March 25th, we have more IT brushes for Ulta. They really are nice brushes. Like, they're good. They're good brushes. I can't, I can't say anything negative about it, except for that one time, one brush fell apart on me, and this was probably six years ago, so <laughs> that's all I can say. But every IT Cosmetics brush from Ulta I've enjoyed and felt like it worked very, very well. Uh, the CC Plus Cream, uh, that is also a nice product. I remember it being pretty medium coverage. Nice product. Laid on the skin very nicely, a nice scent and finish to it. Really pretty product, but I do want to mention, of course, the Benefit Goof Proof, Waterproof, Easy Shape and Fill Eyebrow Pencil. If you watch my Benefit review, uh, I did review all of the Benefit brow products, except for, I think, one in that video and kind of talked about why I like different products from the line, why I didn't like other products, and the Goof Proof is my favorite by far. I love the shape of it. It's got a little teardrop shape, so for my shape of eyebrow, it really helps to fill and just kind of go boop and it's like you're done. It's so easy. The the pencil isn't too hard that you feel like you have to scrub it on. It's not too soft that you feel like it's gooping up in the brows and making a mess. It's just a fantastic brow pencil. It is so freaking good. I also love that it does come in a lot of shades. Benefit is very good at that. So, oh, I forgot to mention, I did get those products in PR, but I have purchased them before. Uh, I just want to make sure I put that disclaimer out there. But no matter what, it purchased PR. I love that brow pencil. It's fantastic. <music> For March 26th, uh, we've got MAC making an appearance. We have the Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. Know nothing about that. Never tried it. Fix Plus uh, is very, very famous, very well-loved, tried-and-true kind of product. One thing I like to use Fix Plus for because I don't use setting sprays. I don't like the way they feel my face. It, for, it like, ugh, I just don't, I don't like setting sprays. But what I do use this for occasionally is to wet my brushes. So if you want an eyeshadow, especially like a foiled shadow, a shimmery shadow, to be more poppy to like pack onto the lid you can put the shadow on your brush spray it with a little fix plus and it'll just go on absolutely beautifully so that's something you might want to consider uh, I don't know anything about the next two products but I do know that the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumping Gloss was very very popular this past year I think due to TikTok and them doing a lot of marketing over there so let's talk a little bit about that there's only eight shades of it which kind of sucks but also it isn't a very pigmented formula. It's got pigment to it, but it's not like super opaque. So it kind of makes sense that there aren't a ton of shades to it. As far as the ingredients on this, uh, base is a bunch of emollients. Of course we want that in products like this, but that's what's going on. But nothing very exciting as far as like skincare-y in this, because you know, we're in this the land of skincare makeup hybrids, right? So we have some passion fruit oil and that is good for the skin barrier to help the skin barrier to be strong. We also have grapeseed oil, which we talked about earlier, great and antioxidant. And then they put in the smoothie concoction of fruit extracts, which a lot of them are good antioxidants, good moisturizers. <laughs> I think it's so funny. It's like watermelon, strawberry, peach, blueberry, cranberry, acai. Like there's so many. <laughs> Did I say acai right? I would I was double check myself and like that doesn't sound right, but I think I might have said it right. Uh, it's again, some antioxidant benefits, but <laughs> I do want to mention that there's a fragrance allergen in here called benzyl benzoate, which is a really common fragrance allergen. So if you are allergic to fragrance, you may want to watch out for this one. It also can cause some irritation for some people. Now, one thing I didn't see, and you'll have to tell me if you're an ingredient geek like me, did you see a plumping ingredient in here? Because I don't see any kind of plumping happening. I don't see anything that would plump the lips. Some people are saying it plumped the lips, but I don't see, I, I see literally nothing. I'll put the ingredient list on there for you and see if you can find it. It's like the Where's Waldo of ingredients. I can't find it. What makes this plumping? I don't know. Uh, but if you want something that'll feel nice and smooth on the lips and look kind of pretty, then yeah, maybe. Good antioxidants are great in skincare, great on the lips. So that's kind of a benefit to this as well. All right, March 27th, Peter Thomas Ross Firm X Peeling Gel. Okay, I haven't tried this particular product, but if you ever tried the Firm X under eye stuff, I got it as part of a sponsor video for Skin Store. And 
I have I have thoughts about that product. That's a weird freaking product. I have never used anything quite like that. And I don't know if there's actual skincare happening there. That's just an opinion. I don't know. But that doesn't have to do with this. So we can't talk about it in this video. But maybe I'll talk about it in the future. But that's a weird ass product. All right. But what I do want to talk about, because nothing really looks super exciting this day either. Let's talk about the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. Because there's like rose petals floating in it. Which is weird. It's $26 marked down to $13. They say it's a non-stripping formula that minimizes pores and increases hydration with hyaluronic acid and real rose petals. So there's dead roses in it, which I think is kind of odd. The ingredient deck on this is very, very simple. Base of it is water and humectant. So for me personally, to make sure that everything is nice and locked in there, I would personally always top this with a moisturizer because I feel weird leaving something with just humectants open to the air. I feel like it's gonna like end up pulling water out of my skin so I like to put something on over top of it but the rest of it is literally just rose ingredients there's a difference between rose petal rose leaf and rose hip oil rose hip oil has tons of benefits to it that's not what's in here this is the fragrant stuff this is rose petal extracts honestly there could be some antioxidant benefits in here but I, if you have any qualms about allergies or skin sensitivities or anything like that with fragrance, this is gonna skip this one. This is gonna be a no. And I feel like there just isn't the bang for the buck on this, even at thirteen dollars. I feel like the, what are you what are you getting out of this? I don't know. Not a lot. Not a lot. <music> For March 28th, uh, the Grande Cosmetics Grande Brow Enhancing Serum. I, I've heard good things about this. I've heard that it actually works. I haven't used it personally. The Loxaton Almond Shower Gel. So if you were here back when I did, why do I keep doing this? The hair keeps going in my eyeball and it's annoying. It's like, stop. Uh, so if you were here, I did, I had a sponsor video I was working on with Loxaton. It went very, very bad, right? I, we had done the Immortal line and that was the one that went really bad. But the second video was supposed to be on the almond line and I actually really like that but because at the time I refused to say that they were cruelty free when they were selling in China and having their products tested on animals I refused to say that so they killed they cut off the sponsorship tried not to pay me it was a really bad situation but what I was going to say in the second video if I had gotten the opportunity to make it was that the almond shower oil on the almond line is actually really nice from L'Occitane uh, it's very moisturizing it's just a it's just a nice line it just feels good on the skin it's got a good ingredient deck uh, I actually really like that stuff but I never got a chance to tell you that because they turned out to be jackasses so <laughs> so that did not happen but I'll tell you now you know not sponsored I'll tell you now it's a good it's a good product but to focus let's focus on the Paracone MD Cold Plasma Plus that is just a really really nice line this I feel like I can see why the price point is where it is it's $179 on sale for $89.50 like when I was talking about about the Lancome stuff like that is not no absolutely not even though this is very expensive, I feel like at least it has the ingredient deck to back up that this might actually do great things for your skin beyond the basics, beyond what you can get at a much lower price point. So there's like lots of humectants in here. There's peptides, there's niacinamide, there's linoleic acid. This is a great option for people that are looking to have a slight uh, plumping of fine lines and wrinkles. But please remember that no skincare is ever going to give you Botox-like effects, ever. It doesn't matter how much you pay for it. The skincare products can't do that much. It cannot truly reverse the signs of aging. So definitely keep your expectations realistic as far as what products like this can do. But you may see because it has all these research-based, really good anti-aging skincare ingredients, you may see when you look in the mirror, some slight results as far as your fine line and wrinkle depth. We got four days left. I feel like this video is just flying by. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have the March 29th. March 29th, is that where we're at? Yeah, March 29th. The Urban Decay Single Shadows, I've never understood why they're $21. I do feel like $10.50 might be worth trying a, a single shadow, but I don't know. I don't think, I'm not, no. 
the Dermablend Flawless Creator Liquid Foundation Drops. I bet that's a really nice product. Dermablend is just known for making fantastic professional style products. So uh, that might be something to look into, but let's dig deep into the Dermalogica Daily Glycolic Cleanser. So it's $37 on sale for $18.50. What it does is it helps to slough off the dead skin cells. So it's gonna make your face just look brighter and healthier. Paired with that, there's also water and glycerin. So that's going to help keep the skin hydrated while the AHA is taking effect. And this is the thing about AHA is that if you're not used to using it and you use too high of a concentration, you could cause some serious skin irritation. You could actually thin the top layer of of your skin, which I have personally done, and it did not look cute. <laughs> It's not red or irritated. It just looks weird. Like it just, it's very odd. So my point is, if you've never used something like that, a AHA-based cleanser may be where you want to start with that. And you may notice some really big results with it. If you already have a glycolic acid worked into your routine, you may not even need a glycolic acid cleanser. Like you're using it in a serum. You don't need it in a cleanser. Get a cleanser for another reason. I also want to mention that there's also some citrus fruit extracts in here if you are sensitive to fragrance just to throw that in there but I do think that this is going to be a very nice cleanser for the right person especially focusing on people that want to try an AHA but haven't done it yet not very excited about March 30th either like at all. Uh, Benefit makes nice primers. They're very similar to the Smashbox as far as the ingredient deck, but I do personally like the Smashbox one better. As far as the original versus the original, I can't really say comparing the other ones. Philosophy, never been a fan of their skincare at all. I think people are going to be most excited this day about the Nabla eyeshadows. They are very, very popular. Nabla did send one over to me to try once, and honestly, I'm going to be 100% with you. I thought it was just okay. I thought it was fine. Like, I really like the mattes. Mattes went on nicely. Uh, the other shades, the like more shimmery kinds of shades, I thought that they were just fine. It just didn't give me that joy. You know when you put on your makeup and you get that joy? I just didn't get the joy. And maybe it was just the color story or something. I don't know. It was just kind of like, me. it's fine. I know some people are gonna be very upset that I said that, but that, I can't, I can't help but share my opinion. So you just have to decide whether we have different opinions on that or not. And if you are excited, by, you know, more calm color stories, more calm packaging, and a very effective eyeshadow formula, then you'll probably be really excited about Nabla showing up on this day. Let's talk March 31st. So we have, uh, let's see. Mm. I'm going to tell you, the standout product here, I think for a lot of people, is going to be that Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Eye Base Primer and Moisturizer. And I looked into it after I recognized that that was probably going to be the standout product for this day. And there's a reason. It is a fantastic ingredient deck. Let's talk about it. So it's $58 on sale for $29. They claim that it is an all-in-one eye cream that wakes up makeup by hydrating, nourishing, plumping, and softening the look of fine, dry lines. So many good things in the ingredients. Deck. It does have dimethicone as the second ingredient after water. And what that tells me is that this is also an eye primer. A lot of products that are solely eye primers have very similar bases to this. You definitely want to make sure you go in with a light hand on it and make sure you're not putting too much on. But this is probably going to make your eyeshadow last longer along with the skincare benefits for it. So as far as the skincare benefits, we've got shea butter, we've got squalane. There's a more stable version of vitamin C I see in here. Uh, antioxidants, there's algae extract, and that's one of the antioxidants. Uh, there's humectants, there's caffeine. Caffeine, it's funny because, you know, you think about that, you know, caffeine and coffee, it's going to wake you up, and how would that do the same thing in a skincare product? But it actually does. It improves circulation in the under eye area, which could reduce puffiness. It could also reduce dark circles. So it really is a great product to be in an under eye cream. Uh, it does have fragrance. That's kind of the only thing there. Uh, it is a a very popular product. I do think it's popular for a reason. This ingredient deck definitely backs up the hype around this. And if I was looking for an eye cream right now, this would be something I would invest in. And we 
have finally made it to April 1st, which is the last day of the 21 Days of Beauty. Uh, looking at this, the Lash a Doll Lash Lifting and Volumizing Waterproof Mascara and the regular mascara. I think I've actually only tried the regular mascara from Lancome. It's a nice mascara. I think it's definitely worth $15, at least to me as far as length and volume. Yes, absolutely. But what I want to talk about <laughs> is Shape Tape, Tarte Shape Tape. So Tarte Shape Tape had its moment where people were freaking dying over this concealer. Like it was the best concealer ever on the planet. And I really do think it was because the influencers, influencers at the time really, really hyped it up and made people feel like if it didn't work for us, that there was something wrong with the way we were applying it. <laughs> like maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but this is cakey as hell. <laughs> And I was one of those people. So that's how I can I can say that because that happened to me. I am a victim. <laughs> $31 here on sale for $15.50. It is full coverage. Uh, the original, I've never tried the creamy one. The original one is very full coverage. For my personal use, since I've used it, since I realized how you can mess this up so badly, is just to use the tiniest, tiniest bit of this and blend it out. I also make sure, which I do with a lot of concealers, is after I've put on my concealer, I've kind of done about half my face, I go like this and just gently pull here and then just gently pat the creases out that appear and then I'm fine for the rest of the day. I personally, with this particular concealer, like this better on redness rather than the under eye. I feel like that is my personal best use for it. So I am curious to know, have you used shape, tar, chart, chart tape? Have you? Mm. <laughs> I'm curious to know, have you used the Tarte Shape Tape in the past or currently? What do you like using it for? Do you enjoy the use of it? Did you once use it and then you decided to stop using it? I want to know your Tarte Shape Tape story down in the comments down below because that is the last day and this video is done. And beyond Tarte Shape Tape, I want to hear your thoughts on anything else I talked about in this video because I only have one opinion, one phase. I can only give you what I've got. I can give you what I have in my brain, what's in my heart, what's in my soul, what's in my experience, but I can only speak for me. That's why we're the collective brain of mega awesomeness where we help each other not to buy crap and to buy things that are totally worth it. You've got to help me out here because there's so much that I don't, there are things I know about and then there's things I don't know about. So that's where you're going to help me is fill those holes for the community down in the comments down below of your experience with some of these products. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I want to thank my friend on Twitter for encouraging me to do this video. I appreciate you. <laughs> I don't know if this video would have happened without her tweet. So if you want to, you can thank her in the comment section as well if you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it so much, please hit the thumbs up button. That really helps me out a lot. It tells YouTube to share it with more people. And if you're not ready to go, you don't have to go. YouTube should be recommending a couple videos for you right over here to watch, including one I picked out for you special down at the bottom, and then one that YouTube is picking for you at the top. But if you do need to go, it is absolutely no problem at all. Thank you for hanging out as long as you did. I'm mad love to you. And I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye.